Shalak Nay, Chaka Gunzi, Shoja Ivan Peter Oji, Dinji Juk, Shoja Git Veoji, Vashank Ogots in Italy, Nets Igoch in Italy, Nats Bay Italy, Jewish Italy, Zagishi and Jicho Italy. Well, we're happy to be here with you all tonight. Thank you for inviting us. Since we've already used up quite a bit of the 15 minutes that I have, and I respect that because I know there's a lot of voices to be heard, I just have a few words to share with you tonight. The crisis that we're facing in civilization today is centuries old. We are not in only an economic and environmental crisis. This crisis is also a spiritual and cultural crisis that is occurring. It is, rooted, it is rooted in a deeply entrenched inhumanity that we have been practicing for too long. As indigenous peoples, as indigenous peoples from this land, we have been clear of that. Ever since the formation of this United States government, over 500 treaties signed with our people, every single one of them is violated every single day. Our people are still striving to uphold those agreements that we made with this government, but it fails us every day. There is no question in our mind that the ideas of justice and liberty for all have been abused and manipulated. They're powerful words, they have powerful ideas underlying them, but the practice of them has been completely dysfunctional. They have been rooted in a place of greed for power, for wealth, for control, rather than a practice of taking advantage of opportunities for the betterment of our communities and for our society. I'm doubtful. I'm doubtful in my experiences that I have had in North America and around the world that many of us here in North America have ever experienced the true freedom that it is to be a human being. We have been socialized and indoctrinated into a way of being where we are numbed to reality, so almost so that we are blinded to it, so that we don't even know the consequences of the actions that we are taking. A true human experience is one in which we have a lot of feeling and emotion moving through us all the time, where we have an acknowledgement and a recognition of our spirit and our connection to other spirit that exists in this world. We have a lot of work to do, each and every one of us in here. And the work that we have to do is an internal process for us to understand how inhumane we have become. We have inherited this from the generation that came before us because we were born into this indoctrinization and socialization, but we have a responsibility to recognize it and change it, to end the cycles of dysfunction that are existing among humankind because our dysfunction is not only threatening to the future survival of our species, but we are driving many of our relations, animals, plants, whole river systems, into wiping them from existence. It's overwhelming to me even to think about. In our traditional ways of knowing among my people, among many of our peoples here, we understood that all life is alive. Ecosystems are sustainable because of the intense biodiversity that exists with them. Even the rock and the sand is necessary and alive as a part of that ecosystem. We as human beings, we as human beings are also a part of creation, of what you can call ecosystems. But we have strayed from our path as being human. We are disrespecting our relations and there are consequences to that and our people have known that. Unfortunately, in our generation, we are gonna be suffering the consequences of a great deal of disrespect that we have bestowed upon the rest of creation. So in our lifetimes, we are gonna experience a great suffering and we need to prepare ourselves for that. To be whole human beings so we can recognize what is happening around us so that we can make the wisest decisions that we can make as these things impact us. Like Katrina, like 9-11, like the Iraq, like Darfur, like the oil industry trying to rape the rest of my lands in Alaska. We have work to do. You know, and the depth of that healing and that internal process, I cannot uh, un underemphasize. In fact, I've not seen a North American person who didn't have to go through a complete mental, emotional, and spiritual breakdown 
before they can build themselves into being a truly free human being. So prepare yourself for that path. It takes time, but we need to walk it. Face the fears that we have in ourselves directly head on. Sometimes they manifest themselves in our relationship to the land. Sometimes they manifest themselves in our relationship with other people around us. Face those challenges head on, no matter how hard they are for us, no matter how much they make us cry or mourn or feel pain because we have to feel that if we're gonna move out from where we're at today. So I applaud you for being here, giving us this time to share a few of our thoughts because we are yearning and we are praying as the original peoples of this land that we can recognize the inhumanity that we are carrying within us and return back to a way of being indigenous, which we all were at one time. These words, these words that I'm sharing with you are not my words in our cultures. In our cultures, I want to acknowledge our ancestors, our parents, our teachers, those who came before us who passed these understandings to us that I'm sharing to you today. And it is our responsibility not only to share these understandings, but for us to move into a place of practice within them. And so I want to acknowledge all of that and all the people that are here on stage with me that are doing really great work among our people. So, Masi Chosha Laknai, Chicago Re, Nina Halya.